Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So excuse the bloodstained hands, I actually filmed my zombie tutorial before this one. Um, but jumping straight into it then, I'm taking the NYX Stay Matte But Not Flat foundation in the shade Ivory. And I'm just popping that onto my face. I'm rubbing it in with my hand because I wanted it to be quite patchy. I didn't want it to be full coverage. And then in a minute you will see me wiping some back off of my eyebrows and my forehead and my cheeks because I forgot to block my brows out and I also wanted a clean surface to where I was going to do the scars in a minute so i am just taking a baby wipe and i'm just rubbing off the areas that i want to do all those things too so after we have wiped that off you can do this before foundation i just made the mistake and did it the wrong way around <laughs> i'm taking the ben nye nose and scar wax and i'm just taking a little bit and i am popping it onto my eyebrows and then i am smoothing it out with a spatula really sealing those brows hairs down in the shape that they grow so i'm flattening them to my skin um and then i'm going to be going over with that in a minute with some pressed powder if you've never used the scar wax before you can also rub it out with vaseline it does get quite sticky which is why you use vaseline if you're using your fingers if you don't have a spatula so that it doesn't get stuck to your fingers so after i've smoothed all that out i'm just taking some more foundation and i'm just patting that right on top of my eyebrows just to block the color out mine are quite dark so they took a little bit more foundation than i thought but i'm just covering all of that up and then i'm taking the the Bare Nye Neutral Set Powder and I'm just using that to set my brows. So after that I'm taking a product called Rigid Collodion. This is a type of liquid that you paint onto your face, you let it dry and it puckers the skin up and tightens the skin giving a scar effect so it looks like you've actually carved something into your skin. So I decided to to, to do upside down crosses um, because obviously this is a possessed look so I thought that would go kind of good with the whole look. So I'm doing one on my forehead and I'm also doing one on either cheek um, as again I'm taking the foundation off that I'd already applied um, so that it is a nice clean surface for the rigid collodion to go onto but you literally you just want to paint it on wait for it to dry and then it depends how deep you want the scar the more layers you go in with the deeper the scar will look i knew that i wanted it quite deep i wanted it to really look like i look like i had carved uh, you know the cross is carved into my skin so I went over mine about four times per cross it works better on my cheeks because it is more of a um, fleshy area the forehead did did ripple a bit you know it did give that scar effect but it the, the effect was much more uh, prominent on my cheeks so after we've done that I'm just taking my Ben Nye neutral set powder again and I'm just dusting that on top of the scars just to take the shine away a little bit because it will leave behind a shiny surface so I'm just taking that powder just to mattify it down a little bit so then after you have done that we are going in with the eye magic flash palette and I'm going to be taking the black shade and I'm going to be completely blacking out my eyes all of my eyelid up to my eyebrows and even under my eyes as well I want this to be quite dark really spooky really creepy looking so I am literally just whacking that all over my eyes you haven't got to be neat you haven't got to be tidy it is just a case of whacking that color on um making sure to cover your brows because obviously that's the reason we blocked them out so that we could cover them up over with another color so I'm just using a normal eyeshadow brush to do this but obviously it is a cream product um but I'm just applying that all over my eyes nice and messily just to darken everything up So now I'm taking the Makeup Geek eyeshadow in the shade Corrupt, which is a matte black, and I'm just going over that black cream product that we applied earlier just to set it all down. And then I'm also blending um, the eyeshadow out around the edges of the black that we've already applied just to give it that really grungy, messy look. Um, I wanted this to be quite, like I said earlier, quite creepy, so I'm just dragging that colour all around the base that we have put down. So I'm putting it all around the outside, up on my brows, down um, underneath my eyes, and just really smudging all of that product out. <laughs> So after I've done my eyes, I'm also taking the same um, eyeshadow and I'm just dusting that onto my lips to give that like dead, possessed look. <laughs> I didn't really know what else to do with the lips, so I just rolled with it and thought that I would just blacken them out. And then after you've done that, I'm going in with another Makeup Geek eyeshadow. This is in the shade Bitten and it is a really vampy, dark burgundy type of colour. And I'm just running that around the outside of the perimeter 
the outside of the perimeter no the outside perimeter of my eyes just to further grunge it up and smoke it out just to add a little bit of color as well I felt like it was a bit flat with just the black so I just wanted to add a bit more dimension with the um, bit and eyeshadow I just felt that it kind of brought the look together I also dusted a little bit onto my lips so then I'm going in with Snazaru Water Activated Face Paint and I'm taking a mix of red and black and using a very fine detail paintbrush. I am just painting those colours into the um, scars that we just created with the Rigid Collodion. Um, it was a bit bright for me at first so I do go back and add a little bit more black just to darken the scars up as if they was like old. Um, and then after we've done that I'm just rubbing the eyes out again bit more with my fingers just to further blend um, that eyeshadow down and then again as you can see I'm just clearly wanting to do a bit more blending so I'm taking my brush again with whatever product is left on the brush and I am just smudging all of that stuff together just to make the face look nice and dirty and gross and yucky and dead and all that spooky shit. <laughs> So then after you have done that around your eyes guys, we're taking the same bit of eyeshadow and again a very fine detailing brush and I'm just starting to draw some veins um, all over my face. I start off with them coming up from the eyes, um, coming down from the forehead, I do it everywhere. Um, you want to do this with a really light hand, this eyeshadow is quite pigmented um, but doing it with a light hand will give the illusion that the veins are underneath your skin and they are just like showing it through. I thought this really added to the effect, I thought it was quite spooky and quite creepy um, but just carry on doing that until all of your face is covered in veins i also brought this down onto my neck and my chest it depends obviously what costume you are wearing if you were wearing something to the neck then you wouldn't need to do this but for the purpose of this video i was wearing a low cut top so i decided to take it down my neck and my chest as well Now I'm just taking my shading brush that we used earlier with whatever product was left on the brush and I'm just applying that all over my neck and my chest area just to darken things up and give it that dirty feel. And then I'm going in with Ben Nye Stage Blood and again on a very fine detailing brush I'm just going over the scars just to give them that wet look um, as if we had just carved them in. Um, I go over this a few times just to give it that really like drippy minging effect. <laughs> And then to finish this whole look off, I'm just taking some black eyeliner and I'm just waterlining my eyes and I'm also going to do a bit of tight lining as well just to block out any skin. And that's it guys, that is the tutorial complete. So I really hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up and subscribe if you aren't already. And yeah, I will see you in my next one. Bye guys. Get caught in the brain.